Hello and welcome to the second part of lesson number two on programming Python. We are going to be having a look at two-dimensional lists in this video. Heading over to my REPL, you'll be able to see on line number one and two, we have got an example of a predefined one-dimensional list. And then on line number two, this is our two-dimensional list. Now, two-dimensional lists are extremely useful and you should consider two-dimensional lists like a table that has rows and also columns. And we're going to have a look at how the coordinates work within a two-dimensional list. Now, now on line number four, what we are doing is printing out year 10 names and we're printing out index zero, which is the first piece of data in the list. On line number five, we are printing out our two-dimensional list so Y10M, and we are printing out index number one, which is going to be the second list. And then we are printing out the third piece of data, which is at index number two, which is gonna be Nemo. Now, if we wanted to output the entire part of the second two dimensional list, we can remove this number here. And then or what you will be able to see is that we have got the entire second part of the list being printed out. So if you don't specify two coordinates, you'll get the second part of the list. If we change this index number to be zero, we will now get the first part of the list being printed out. So with two dimensional lists, it is really, really important for you to specify Two coordinates if you want to specify an individual piece of data within inside that list or just for one coordinate if you're only wanting to print out part of the list. Now the next thing which we're going to be doing here is having a look at mixed GB here. So what we have here is a two-dimensional list again and again we are specifying the specific piece of data that wants to be printed out. So we're seeing Jerry being printed out from this first list. Now, what we have set up here is a for loop. And this for loop allows us to decide what part of the list we want to access. So we've got for student in mixed GB. And we've got if mixed GB dot index student is one. This is allowing us to choose the second part of the list here. And what we're being prompted to do on the right hand side is add a new piece of data to the second part of the list. When I enter Rob here, what you will be able to see is Rob has been appended to the end of the list which is at index number one. If I wanted to append Rob to index zero to be with Paulette and Jerry, I would change this from zero, uh, 1 to 0, sorry, we would run it again, and when I type in Rob, you will be able to see that Rob has been added here. The comma is separating the first part of the list, or list number 1, and then list number 2 here. Now this is a very, very quick video on two-dimensional lists, so hopefully you understand how to define the list and how the index position works or how the index positions work in the list and hopefully you'll be able to apply this to the task in the lesson.